Here are the steps for installing a cap sheet membrane adhered with hot SEVS modified bitumen on the field surface. First, it is important to know the temperatures to be observed when applying hot SEVS modified bitumen. The minimum temperature of the bitumen in contact with the membrane must be between 218 and 232 degrees Celsius or 425 and 450 degrees Fahrenheit and the temperature of the bitumen must never exceed 260 degrees Celsius or 500 degrees Fahrenheit in the kettle. Begin by unrolling the membranes 10 to 15 minutes before their installation to dissipate the tensions built during manufacturing and to facilitate their installation. Make sure to align the first membrane on the center of the drain by relying on the lines of the base sheet membrane. Cut an opening in the cap sheet membrane around the perimeter of the drain. Re-roll each end of the membrane back to the center. Before spreading the hot bitumen, make sure to cut at an angle the corner of the membranes that will be in the middle of the T-joints. Once the bitumen has reached the required temperature, pour it into a cart while making sure to always leave bitumen in the kettle. Once the cart is full, Get to the application site as quickly as possible to keep the bitumen at the correct application temperature. Spread the bitumen on the base sheet membrane with a mop at a rate of 1 to 1.5 kg per square meter or 20 to 25 pounds per 100 square feet. While applying hot bitumen, slowly unroll the membrane onto the bitumen. If necessary, use the membrane roller around the perimeter of the drain to ensure complete and uniform adhesion. Before resuming the bitumen application, pull the roll lightly until you see bitumen strands. Once the first roll is installed at the drain, make a chalk line over the granulated side lap to create a 75 mm or 3 inches wide selvage. Although it is possible to cover all the overlaps with SCBS modified bitumen, in order to avoid any excessive spillage on the granulated cap sheet membrane, we recommend sealing all the joints using an electric heat gun and an electric hot air welding cart. It is not necessary to embed the granules from the first overlap. Simply apply hot bitumen while leaving 25 to 50 millimeters or 1 to 2 inches without bitumen for welding. And laps must be at least 150 mm or 6 inches wide. Granules of the end laps do not need to be embedded. Simply apply hot bitumen to the granules, leaving the last 25 to 50 mm or 1 to 2 inches without bitumen for the weld. Note that a minimum distance of 914 mm or 36 inches must be left between the end laps and the drain. End laps must be spaced at least 305 mm or 12 inches. They must also be at a minimum distance of 305 mm or 12 inches from the end laps of the base sheet membrane. Note that at temperatures below 15 degrees Celsius or 60 degrees Fahrenheit, in order to avoid losing too much heat, we recommend spreading the bitumen up to 1 meter or 3 feet in front of the membrane roll. When the temperature is above 15 degrees Celsius or 60 degrees Fahrenheit, a distance up to 3 meters or 9 feet is acceptable. Finally, the only thing left to do is to seal the overlaps with an electric heat gun. To save time, an electric hot air welding cart can be used for side laps. This installation is now complete.